Hey, Brian Young here with ProTinkerToys.com. ProTinkerToys.com. We got all the toys you need. Don't forget to like us and subscribe. Ask any question. Okay. Now, this video is going to be for uh, basically novice or people that are just trying to decide wh what size should I get in slot cars. 132nd, 143rd, or HO. What should I buy? And I'm going to show you all three right now so you can have a good idea. Okay, so for the first question that most people, size. Okay, this is 132nd, which is this track. This is the old track. Okay, this is the new track. It's the gray track, but it's a similar. Okay, this is larger. Okay, so this is 132nd. This is uh, 143rd. And this is one, our HO. You have your three scales. If you're going to do a nice layout, if you want to do a beautiful layout, you will need two sheets of four bay plywood in an L shape or just eight by 16. And you can do really any kind of layout that you can think of. And that's going to be really nice. That's all the size you need. Or you could put both the eights by eight and just make it eight by eight. But normally an L shape layout is the best for one thirty second. 143rd, you can really do a nice layout on just one sheet of 4 by 8 plywood, but a 10 by 4 is a little nicer because it is a larger track, uh, but you can really do some nice layouts on just a 4 by 8 sheet of plywood. HO, much smaller, as you can see, here's 143rd, here's our 132nd, 143rd, and HO, all three sizes. Okay, so this you can do any kind of layout on a four bay sheet of plywood. You could do a four laner, a figure eight four laner offset figure eight. Okay, so that's the first question. What size am I gonna need? So if you've got a small apartment, you might wanna go HO. If you've got uh, a little bit more room, you might go 143rd. Or if you've got plenty of room, nice basement, man cave, a four by eight sheet, of, uh, two four by eight sheets of plywood in an offset figure eight. Really, offset figure eights are really the best layout because you cross, crisscross, and you can do a nice layout. All right, so now let's look at the cars. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'll put this right here. All right, so this is 132nd. All right, so that's 132nd. This is 143rd, and that is HO. So that gives you an idea of the size of your cars, okay, uh, compared to the three, you got 132nd, 143rd HO. Now, the key note is 143rd have brushes, 143rd has brushes. Most or all of one th of HO are all guide blades. They're a blade that will come off of the car, okay? So that is the uh, difference between the cars, okay? Normally, an HO car will click off the body so you can look at the car okay normally the motor is in in embedded into the car it's part of the car now your old afx uh uh i mean tomi uh, turbo jet uh t jets those were kind of had th those were a, dis a dissectable uh chat uh, motor you literally could take them completely apart redo it and then put it back together that's why t jets are really nice car we're going to do a video on t jets here in a couple days and then 143rd this is 143rd it's basically uh, the motor is a separate pod uh, or a separate uh, item and then your your it's it's basically a miniaturized uh 140 uh, uh, 132nd with the motor and the brushes but these are the three scales okay of HO slot or slot cars that you might want to get into okay each have their own running characteristics okay this is a much larger car it gives you a better feel of the car. Look, they look more realistic. They're more of a slower, not slower, but it, it just larger is, you know, you're going to get the more feel of it, okay? All right, then you have 143rd, which, um, you know, they're nice cars. I'm not, I'm not knocking any line or, or any type of uh, track or anything. Uh, so, so, I mean, they run a little different. We'll move that out of the way. But they're really fast, and they're real nice cars. Now, I meant to go get, hold on, let me go get a car here. I want to show you something. I 
meant to show you this. Okay, there's, so there's two manufacturers that make 143rd that are that are prominent. Now, SCX, this was this is SCX Compact. Now, they went out of business. They're back, they're, they're making Compact. Now, Aduca, the company that used to have an SCX, they're making their own uh, 143rd over in Europe. Now, the other company that's very prominent in 143rd is Carrera Go, okay? Now, all of Carrera Go cars will work on any 143rd track. You got to remember that. All their cars will work on one. It's the track that is different, okay? So that's the thing you want to know about for one uh, for 143rd is that the tr cars will work on the uh, 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 track, but your track won't interconnect, okay? So now your next your next scale would be HO. See now how the dip, see how, how the size, how the uh, HO kind of like fits inside of everything. 143rd right here, HO. Uh, and, uh, and so HO now, I got to find the right remote. <laughs> They're a little, little even smaller, okay? And you can do up to four, eight lanes on HO if you want. It's really, you know, what type of car you want to ride, run. Now these are, uh, these are uh, Tyco uh, four, uh, 440X2s. They're really super fast. See, l let's, let me give you a, a, a thing about one uh, HO. HO, when, when um, Aurora really started HO, and they started with their T-Jets, Thunder Jets in the late 60s. They weren't a fast car, I mean, not as fast as this. And then they wanted to keep going higher, higher in speed, okay? Then you came out with the 440s. Then you came out with 440X2, okay? Then you can, now you've got the new uh, Race Masters. These cars are super fast with super magnets and drag them down. But if th there are some people that just like to drive a car realistically, okay? Okay, like for example, this, okay? Let's get it off of the track here. Let's... This is a realistic speed right here. That's probably 40, maybe 50 miles an hour right here in real, in real, uh, uh, real speed, okay? But, you know, they have on some of the packaging, the own Tyco packaging, you know, realistic 1,000 miles an hour. Okay, how are you going to do 1,000 miles an hour on a road? You can't. And so I, now that's my personal opinion. I like T-Jets because it's more or less realistic speeds. Okay, you're, you're driving your car. And, and so, you know, if you crash, it's, you know, you're, you got to watch yourself because it didn't have any magnets. Okay, like for example, uh, um, what car doesn't have them? Oh yeah, I wanted to, sh well, I don't want to say that because I'm going to do a special video. Okay, so let's kind of review. So you have one uh, thirty second, and it's kind of a click go system. The track kind of just clicks go, click connects here on the back. Now Carrera's track is me is more plastic like this, and then when they when you put the track together, there are little clips, okay, that snap it together, which holds it together. So this is one thirty or one forty third, okay, and it's still a snap together. Okay, now Carrera's you're gonna have little clips that you have to put on there. You don't have to, but it's recommended you do to keep the track together. Okay, so that's 132nd, HO, or I mean 143rd, and then this is HO. HO is a, a click system. Again, it just snaps together. Just snaps like that. Now, the old ones used to have pins. You'd put pins in them, and then there was a plastic uh, piece that would snap the hold the track together. And that plastic, I remember when I was, guys, 12 years old, that plastic piece will always break off so my track wouldn't stay together. I had to run to the hobby store and get more of those plastic because they wouldn't they wouldn't stay together. I should have been made out, made out of metal, but that's hindsight. Uh, so that's one, this is HO. So you have to decide to yourself, okay, what size do I want of slot cars? Okay, now, you know, some guys might want them all. You know, maybe you want to have a track that, a big a 132nd track and then maybe have a 143rd kind of going over it and then an HO track kind of going under and over that. It's really what you want to do, okay? Um, uh, you know, kids kind of like 130, 143rd. It's great for kids ages, you know, uh, 9 to 10. A larger scale for the older people really like uh, that. But um, 
you, you have to really decide what I have all the scales. I have everything, all parts, everything. So if you're trying to buy it and you don't know where to buy it, con con get a hold of protinkertoys.com, email me, text me, and I can get you anything you want. Remember, 132nd, 143rd, HO.